Sometimes a taste of home is enough to ease the pain of being homesick. Other times, you don't realize how delicious American food is until it's no longer an option. Wait until our number one to see why Doritos is the best example of food you might seriously miss if you're traveling. If this is your first time visiting The Things, don't forget to subscribe and please give this video a big thumbs up. Here are 10 strange foods you wouldn't be able to buy in other countries. Cereal. Cereal is always a comforting meal, whether it be an early morning energy boost or a late night meal. However, if you travel to places in Europe or Australia, you might be disappointed that some cereal staples like Captain Crunch or Lucky Charms cannot be purchased at your local grocery stores. However, since 2014, a cereal killer cafe was opened and offers a variety of over 100 cereals from around the world, available for purchase for breakfast, lunch, or dinner. Strict health regulations in Australia prevented the sale of Fruit Loops due to artificial color and flavors. Instead, they devised a healthier version. Kellogg's plans on revisiting its classic cereal recipes to make them healthier. Peanut butter. Sometimes it takes not having access to something in order to realize how much you love it. That's definitely the case for anyone who has lived in the 10 countries that don't sell peanut butter. Among the list are countries such as France, Italy, Spain, Russia, and China. Even if you do manage to find a stash of peanut butter on the back shelf of a European grocery store, it likely won't be your go-to brand, nor would it provide you with the options we have grown used to. Prefer chunky or smooth? You might just have to make do with what you find if you're living or traveling abroad. Barbecue sauce. Summertime means barbecues, and a good old-fashioned cookout is never complete without copious amounts of barbecue sauce. It's appropriate that a condiment is so iconically American since it turns ribs into a mouth-watering, irresistible dish. Though some of us might take it for granted, a life without barbecue sauce is a bland one. So the Kansas City Barbecue Society has done its part to introduce an American favorite into European cuisine. Belgium now hosts a barbecue festival accompanied by fresh Belgium beer. We can only hope Europeans will begin to realize a flavor they've been missing out on and will take on a food tradition representative of American culture. Old El Paso Old El Paso's original mission was to make Mexican cuisine mainstream in America, and it has succeeded as it is now the second most consumed ethnic food in the United States, sitting behind Italian. From stand-up shells, canned salsa, and pinto beans to squeezable bottles of guacamole, Old El Paso has slowly made its way into French and Australian markets. If you're in Asia, some parts of Europe are even even Africa. You will have a tough time finding any Mexican cuisine at all. Though it has secured its culinary spot across the border, Old El Paso still has some ways to go if it wants to be known as an international brand. Cheez-Its This snack is a quintessential in any American kid's lunchbox. Crunchy like a chip, but with a cheesy deliciousness of real cheese. We'd be lying if we didn't admit to some serious Cheez-It cravings every now and again. Unfortunately, if you find yourself abroad, this familiar snack will be difficult or even impossible to find. However, if you find yourself in Australia, your cravings might be appeased by an interesting substitution called pizza shapes. This snack is like a mix between Pepperidge Farm goldfish and Cheez-Its. They even share Cheez-Its square shape and come in a multitude of flavors. Craft Dinner Macaroni and Cheese Whether your memories of KD are as a child, in college, as an adult, or let's be honest, all of the above, it's no surprise that this classic and quick boxed meal lacks the nutrients necessary for a healthy lifestyle. Nevertheless, it's a quick fix and easy go-to that we all crave at one point or another. Other countries, however, have banned two of the food dyes in KD, Yellow 5 and Yellow 6, because it triggers severe and potentially chronic allergic reactions in children. This is not to say that it's impossible to find a box of KD in a foreign grocery store, but it won't have that recognizable taste we just love to hate. Graham Crackers and S'mores We're willing to bet that if we asked you to make a camping list, graham crackers or s'mores would be one of the first items items you grab. That delicious combination of graham crackers, marshmallow, and chocolate is a staple any American child learns from family camping trips or summer camp bonfires. However, if you're living in Australia, you'll have to settle for digestive cookies as a replacement for the honey taste of graham crackers. Graham crackers crumbs don't even exist in the UK or Australia, so the base of a cheesecake will have to be made from scratch or with a replacement cookie. Pop-Tarts Pop-Tarts were created in the 1960s and have taken America by storm, creating over 30 different flavors that could be easily heated in a toaster. However, if you go abroad hoping to find your favorite Pop-Tart flavor at a local grocery store, you might end up very disappointed. Even just north of the border, Canada sells less than a third of the flavors offered on the shelves of U.S. grocery stores. Both the U.S. and London have attempted to accommodate new healthy trends, offering a healthy alternative to be served at 
cafe. Do you think it's worth it to go healthy with Pop Tarts, or is this an American snack that needs to be left as is? Corn dogs. As far as American meals on the go, the corn dog is definitely a classic. Great at barbecues, fairs, or sports events, corn dogs are a familiar taste to all Americans, whether you choose to dunk it in mustard or ketchup. Corn dogs are deeply embedded in the American fast food tradition. It was first patented in 1927 and is a somewhat healthy junk food option as the average calorie count for each corn dog is approximately 225 calories. Though corn dogs are much harder to find elsewhere in the world, they have become popular in certain regions of New Zealand, Japan, and South Korea. A sushi cross bread has even become a success. Dorito flavors. Doritos made our number one, not just because of its history as the first ever nacho chip, but because of the global transformation it has undergone. From a Maxim cover of an astronaut holding a bag of Doritos on the moon, Doritos have been a major part of what it means to be American. What makes this snack our number one is the fact that though some American flavors are hard to find around the globe, some countries like Japan have really made it their own, renaming Cool Ranch flavor to Cool American. With flavors like wasabi mayo, sausage, fried chicken, and fondue, just to name a couple, Japan has run with the idea of eccentric Dorito flavors. Have you gone abroad and missed a particular American food? Let us know in the comments. And that's all for the 10 strange foods you wouldn't be able to buy in other countries. Make sure to like this video and subscribe to The Things to catch more videos like this. Thanks for watching.